After watching the Hogwarts gameplay trailer and waiting to see if what I saw would be present in the new videos and gameplay demos, this is my realistic opinion about what to expect from the Hogwarts Legacy game. First, let's go over the world. It looks awesome. Not a fault to point out. Everything looks immersive, inspiring, with many varied areas to explore, each more interesting and sublime than the next. The school is absolutely amazing, epic, the atmosphere is spot on, everything just seems so alive and well built, it literally made my inner child absolutely scream with excitement. Not only the visuals, but the people in this world fill their space so well, it honestly just blew my mind. As for the individual characters we see and are introduced to in it, overall my reaction is very positive. Many customization options mean you can really go ballistic with it, make your own personal wizard or witch. The older characters are very well done, and many have great examples of brilliant voice acting. As for the younger ones, there are a few issues. Some of the voice acting left me feeling a little bit disappointed, and some of their faces just look weird and badly animated. Maybe it was a problem with the video and not an issue in the actual game itself, but it really creeped me out in some cases. Also, could you not have made the main male character sound so much like Daniel Radcliffe's Harry Potter? Was it really an avenue you should have taken? In my opinion, it feels a little bit too forced to just to get that extra amount of familiarity with the movies. As for the main story and questing in general, all I can say is it seems there's really a lot to do. And that's a very good thing to see. Getting stuck in a grind or repetitive quests can be really boring and absolutely destroys immersion in my opinion, so I'm very happy to see some variety here. However, some of the mechanics in the smaller moments of the game look and feel a bit too console or mobile game related. The simple click this button to pour a drop of the vial was never really my cup of tea. And PC gamers like myself might feel a bit cheated that some of the stuff is a little bit too simple. Also, there's a bit too much cinematic intrusion in the gameplay. Not completely sure about this one because the video might have just happened to have been very heavy in cinematics, but some of it fell unnecessary and have a whole cutscene cinematic moment that could have been skipped over and given just a few voice lines over the actual gameplay. Combat is always a big worry of mine because that's where most of the action is and here there are a few issues. To start, there seems to be many spells we can learn and use, a good thing when compared to adult titles like New World that oversimplify in my opinion. The animations and effects look good and don't feel binding and too overpowering on the whole screen. There are some glaring issues however. The fights seem too stale. The enemies too simple-minded and just sit there waiting to be hit instead of putting up an actual fight. You have to go through and succeed. Everything just feels too telegraphed and easy, alluding to a godlike ego boost instead of actual fighting for your survival. Maybe having a bit less enemies in fights, but have them actually be a challenge would have been a better option. Overall, it just feels not like a fun challenge to take on and could have been more interesting and demanding. The hideout or room of requirement is a very cool addition. I was afraid it would be something just to grant a few bonuses and customize some stuff, but I'm glad I was wrong in my assumption and there is some utility there. The only issue here is me just being picky, really. It being your personal lair is a bit bad, but I understand the where else to really have a personal lair question. Overall, I'm very excited to get my hands on it come February 10th, but a few reservations, I'm still a bit fearful about the combat being subpar and that the amazing world and the immersion might be somewhat tarnished by bland and predictable fights. That will feel a bit more like a chore than an actual core element of the gameplay. At this point, it really is a wait and see game. Almost everything looks very promising and I'll be looking at more gameplay reveals coming out to fill in some blanks. I really hope this turns out to be the great game we all believe it could be. How about yourself? Are you jumping into Hogwarts to explore and dream of the wizarding world? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts about it. Just please be respectful. Leave a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.